survey of the New Testament has had a long life. It's been around for decades now, and it has evolved over those uh, decades. At first, for example, it uh, had no photographs whatsoever. Then black and white photographs were introduced, and now we have full color photographs and lots of them, including new ones for a new fifth edition, which is about to come out. Survey of the New Testament has recently introduced pronunciation guides. Every first time that a difficult term or name occurs in the text, there is a um, pronunciation guide at the bottom of the page and then a glossary of pronunciation uh, guides there at the end of the book. I have discovered in my teaching that students often don't understand what they can't pronounce and there are a lot of strange names and titles and such like in the New Testament that confuse them simply because they don't know how to pronounce them. Uh, each chapter opens up with a series of leading questions so that students know what to look for in their further reading. And then each chapter contains an outline so that students have a broad picture of the details that can be then fitted into the outline. Each chapter then uh, ends with a batch of review questions, questions for discussion, a bibliography for further research. One uh, feature that is upcoming in the fifth edition of Survey of the New Testament is a very large batch of uh, digital flashcards which students can use to review. For teachers, a series of uh, PowerPoint presentations has now been constructed. I've developed a very large bank of test questions for teachers to use, and I think they will find those very helpful. Those test questions are objective, most of them multiple choice, but the discussion questions at the end of each chapter could perform the service of essay questions on examinations as well. There is also a guide to electronic resources for teachers to use. So those, uh, those are some of the new features of fifth edition of a survey of the New Testament.